the idea of truth is actually based on our ignorance rather than the things we know. So what I discussed was that truth in some sense emerges as soon as we understand our ignorance abstractly enough, meaning that when we understand that we keep changing our beliefs to some extent because change entails imperfection and perfection entails ignorance to some extent. So as a result of all this mechanism of ignorance and imperfection emerges something that's actually regulatory on this ignorance or imperfection which is truth to some extent so that that ideal was enlightening in and of itself because the more i think about it this way the more sense it made to me so when we think about ignorance from that perspective it's quite enlightening for us to understand truth because ignorance is in some sense what is known relative to what could be known so ignorance is by definition in some sense a changeable state so it makes sense to have this regulative process over this changeable state of the human knowledge or the human condition so that's how i thought about it and when i put these things in historical terms i don't mean that truth actually emerged like this in history but rather i'm thinking more about it as a thought experiment let's say of actually trying to think of how this thing came to be let's say but it doesn't really represent any historical thing but it's just a, a thought experiment to actually try to understand the concept so other ideas of truth include the mainstream theories of truth such as correspondence theory of truth or the coherence theory of truth and i wanted to actually establish a basis before going on to discuss the theories because I think it's much more enlightening when approaching those theories to actually establish a basis as we did and then we can go on to discuss them. So one example includes the correspondence theory of truth which stipulates that truth is the correspondence of our beliefs with reality. Now what the basis we established does here is it answers the question of why are our beliefs different than reality? And then the answer would be ignorance because our beliefs keep changing, etc. So we see the link between the theories of truth and the basis we established to some extent. Because if we say that, if we declare the correspondence of the theory of truth in vacuum, it doesn't really make sense if we don't establish the why question, let's say. So other theories of truth include the deflationary theory of truth, which actually stipulates that truth is really a dispensable notion of human approach or human knowledge. And the example they usually put forward is that saying that the sky is blue and saying that it's true that the sky is blue is really no difference. So why do we actually need truth? And here's where we put forward our basis to say that if we approach the world in a deflationary manner, that would actually hide our ignorance to some extent. But if we put forward an idea like correspondence, it makes sense with the basis we established, let's say. So another reason why I wanted to actually speak about this topic of truth is because I see a lot of postmodernist solutions or approaches to the world today that actually claim that truth is subjective, for example. And I think given the basis we established today, claiming that truth is subjective is really a contradictory position to itself because how can you say that truth is subjective and then change your beliefs at the same time because if you change your beliefs you're assuming that there is a common ground to actually change your beliefs relative to let's say which is the truth for example so from that perspective we see that those postmodernist solutions are actually even manifesting themselves in some political movements today we see so i'll attach the blog posts link to the description and and there I discussed a lot of extensions of our topic today, such as the objectivity of truth. Why is logic actually a valid tool to use or to approach the world with? And all these other different deeper questions, let's say. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you find this video beneficial.